finding the arc length of parametric curves. All right, here's the idea. This is the formula for finding arc length of parametric curves. And we're looking for the integral from A to B, because what does the integral do? It adds things up. What is it adding? Now, if we take a look in here, this is the square root of the change in x with respect to t. So you can see it is x2 minus x1. All right, squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. What is this? This is the distance formula. The distance. We're going the distance. We're going for speed. This is probably going to be a pretty slow video. So we're looking at, boom, boom, this distance here. And what are we doing? We're adding them up. So we add this distance to that distance to that distance to that distance to that distance to. And then when we add all those up from this whole A to B scenario, and then we shrink those distances, we're going to get the distance of that curve. And that's the idea. Let's see an application. So the concept of finding the length isn't that hard. So. What are we gonna do? We have a game plan. First, we're gonna find the x dt. Then, we're gonna find dy dt. Then, we're gonna evaluate the integral. Which integral? This integral. It's gonna be integral to finding our arc length, but we do have equations, and can we see this up here? Ooh, it's a little high again. This is x, uh-huh. It's in terms of t, one plus three t squared. This is y. It's in terms of t, that's four plus two t to the third. And our t is gonna be bound below by zero and above by one, that's our a, this is our b. And here we say, we're gonna go and execute step one. Step one was, boom, find dx dt. dx dt is going to be six t. All right, what do we need? Huh? Leave it alone. Step two, find dy dt dy dt is um, 6t squared. Wait, did that work out? That's 6, that's 6. <laughs> nice, now, what are we gonna do? Step three, we're gonna evaluate that integral. Three here, see? This is the integral from, wait for it, zero to one of the square root of um, dx dt is 6t plus dy dt is 6t squared. Now. That's dt, all right, wait, something isn't looking right. Ah, got it all figured out now. What did we forget? We forgot to square the differentials. So I need to square this guy, and I need to square this guy, and now I proceed. This is the integral from zero to one of the square root of 36 t squared plus 36 t to the fourth dt. Now, this goes further, and we look at the integral from zero to one of the square root of, looks like I have a 36 t squared, and left over on the inside I have one plus um, t squared, and that's all dt. Now, we can pull that out because the root of the quotient, the quotient of the root, and then I get all low. I'm gonna call this shorty, because shorty get low, get low. So now I'm looking at the integral from zero to one of six t times the square root of one plus t squared. Now you need to go back to your differential calculus and you need to see that that's a u sub. So then I'm gonna go right here. I hope I have enough room. <sighs> Clear the room. Now, we have the integral from, wait, wait, what am I gonna let my u be? u be mm, this guy. Yeah, so let's let u be that guy. One plus t squared. So then du is equal to two t dt. Now, we look at this and we will wanna rewrite that guy. We wanna rewrite that guy so that everything is coming out Nice. Now this is zero to one, and this, let's break that up. Let's call it three times the integral of one plus t squared times two t dt. And why did we do that? Because we have our du there. 
All right, and we have our U here, so then we can make our subs, and we look at this blue integral down here. Now, I'm not gonna put my limits on there yet. Mm -hmm. So I have, I, have, I have three times the, boom, U, D, U, because D, U came out right there. Now this is u to the one half, but I have, well, I can change the limits of integration by putting those into u. So when t is equal to one or t is equal to zero, then u is equal to one plus zero. So then u is equal to one. When t is equal to one, then u is one plus one squared, which is two. Now I can replace my limits of, no, that's not zero anymore, because when t was zero, u was one, so my lower limit is one, and my upper limit is two, and now, since I'm out of board, you finish. That's just a little integral. <laughs> Boxing flower.